بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم عارف اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو لیکچر نمبر سیونٹین آن دا سبجیکٹ آف کمپیوٹر آرگنائزیشن اینڈ اسمبلی لینگویج پروگرامنگ دا ٹائٹل آف ٹوڈے سیشن از ہیک مشین لینگویج پارٹ ٹو ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈسکس دا ٹو ٹائپس آف انسٹرکشن آف ہیک کمپیوٹر وی ڈسکس دا سمبالک ریپرزینٹیشن آف اے انسٹرکشن اینڈ سی انسٹرکشن We will start our today's session with a quick recap of that and after a quick review we will learn to map the hack symbolic instructions to 16-bit binary code and of course we will do a lot of examples to have a clear understanding of the concept. Finally we will see a complete hack program in assembly as well as in machine representation. So let us start playing. Uh, let us have a quick recap of the symbolic representation of the two uh, hack machine instructions. Uh, the syntax of uh, A instruction at the rate value where value is an unsigned constant and can have values ranging from 0 to 3 to 7 6 7 because it is of uh, 15 bits. Uh, this is a summary of C instruction. Uh, the syntax of C instruction shows uh, uh, three different fields destination, computation and jump. Uh, the computation field can be uh, any one of these 28 operations. Uh, the destination and the jump field can take uh, these respective 8 values. Remember as I explained in the previous lecture, first of all uh, the computation is done. And after that, uh, we can do one of the two things. We can either uh, store the result of the computation in some destination, in which case we will omit the semicolon and the jump directive, or based on the result of computation, we can decide if we want to jump to some uh, other address in the program in which case the destination and the equal to sign are omitted. Uh, let us understand this with the help of an example and suppose a programmer wants to read memory content from address uh, 3 to 5 and want to place them in D register. And of course this can't be done in one instruction as we have seen in the previous session. First we will use the A instruction to place the address 3 to 5 in the A register. As its side effect the memory register at address 3 to 5 gets enabled. And then we can use the C instruction D is equal to M to read the memory content and place them inside the D register. This is another example in which the programmer wants to do a conditional jump to address uh, 97 if d minus 1 equals to 0. But dear students, if uh, you are not very much clear about the uh, symbolic representation of these two instructions, I strongly recommend that uh, you should go back to the previous session, practice that and then fall back to this, slide, uh, uh, this lecture. So uh, if your mind is refreshed to the symbolic representation of A and C instruction, uh, it is time to understand as to how we can map these assembly instructions to, uh, to the uh, machine language or exactly the hack machine language, which is a 16-bit binary encoding. Uh, so here are the two ways to uh, write a program in uh, machine language. Uh, the first is the symbolic way using mnemonics and friendly symbols as we have seen in the previous session. And the other is writing the program using some agreed upon binary codes. Dear students, if you uh, write programs symbolically, uh, you will need someone to translate these programs from this symbolic code to the binary code. And once you have done it, you can actually take this code 
load it inside the, uh, the computer and tell the computer to execute it. And this translation from symbolic to binary uh, can be done uh, by a special program called the assembler. And we will inshallah write the assembler for hack machine language using the C language that you have studied in the previous session in the later part of this course. And for the time being, let's do the translation manually. Oh, well, uh, this is the binary code representation of uh, A instruction. And we all know that A instruction is used to set the A register to a 15 bit value. The symbolic representation is at the rate 2, 3. And the 16 bit binary code of uh, this instruction is shown over here. Uh, dear students, since we have only two types of instructions in the machine language of our hack computer, so we will assign a single bit, the most significant bit over here, uh, to specify the two types of instructions. A zero in the most significant bit of an instruction will specify that this is an A instruction. And a one in the most significant bit will specify that this is a C instruction. So at 23 maps are translates to this binary code. A zero over here means that this is an A instruction. And these remaining 15 bits of the instruction represent the 15 bit binary equivalent of 23. So 1, 2, 4 and this 16, this sum up to 23. So this is the binary representation of the A instruction at 23. Let us now talk about the binary encoding of C instruction. Well, uh, this is how Noam and Shimon, uh, the designer of the NAND to Tetris course, have encoded the 16 bits of uh, a C instruction. Uh, they have uh, divided the instruction into five different parts. One, two, three, four and five. Five different parts. Starting from uh, the most significant bit over here, this represents the type of the instruction. As we have seen in the previous slide, for the A instruction, this will be a zero. And since there is a one over here, that means this is a C instruction. The next two bits, they are not used. And then we have these seven bits, A, C1, C2, C3, so on to C6. These uh, seven bits represent the type of the computation to be done. These are the uh, control bits that we will be sending later on to the ALU and will tell the ALU which uh, computation it has to carry out. The next three bits are uh, the destination bits. And finally, the last three bits specify the type of the jump. So now uh, let us discuss the mapping between the symbolic expression of the C instruction and their uh, corresponding binary expressions. And let us begin with uh, this computation field in blue and these are the seven bits which are of our concern right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Well dear students, uh, this table uh, relates the symbolic and the binary equivalent of 28 different computations that can be performed. Uh, in this table on the left side uh, you see the symbols and on the right side you see uh, there are six bits encoding C1, C2, C3 and so on to C6. Also note uh, the A bit at the bottom of this table over here. If you want to perform an operation involving uh, the A registers, you keep the A bit to zero. You see over here we have uh, the computation involving the A register. And if you want to perform the same operation involving the M register, you keep the A bit to one. For example, if you want to perform D bitwise or A, in that case, you will keep A is equal to 0 
and the remaining six bits are shown over here. In case if you want to perform the bitwise OR of D and M, you keep the A bit to 1 and the remaining six bits are the same as in this row. Suppose you want to perform a D plus A operation. The seven bits of the computation field in this case will be 0, the A will be 0 and the remaining 6 bit will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Similarly, if you want to perform a D plus M, the 7 bits of this computation field will be for D plus M, A will be 1 and the remaining 6 bits are 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, uh, now let's talk about uh, the three bits of uh, the destination. This table relates the uh, symbolic and binary equivalents of uh, eight different destinations. If a programmer do not want to store the result of a computation, the symbol for the destination field is null. So over here, we want to place a null in case of a jump instruction the destination will be null the 3 bit binary encoding for a null destination is 000 similarly if a programmer wants to store the result of a computation in the d register if a programmer wants to store the result of the computation inside the d register then the 3 bit encoding for these 3 bits are 010 Let us now talk about this jump field. This table relates uh, the symbolic and the binary equivalents of eight different possible combinations for the jump field. If the programmer do not want a jump, he or she will use a binary code of 000. For an unconditional jump, the three bit encoding will be 111. Similarly, to jump if the result of the computation is less than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 0, the symbol is JLE and its 3-bit uh, encoding is 110. Uh, so finally this slide sums up the mapping between the, the symbols and their uh, binary codes. Uh, the 7 bits of the computational field are shown in this table. The 3 bits for the destination field are shown in this table. And the 3 bits for the jump directive are shown in this table. Now let us uh, practice by doing some examples of translating or encoding hack assembly instruction to machine code. Uh, suppose the programmer wants to increment the value of D. Uh, so we have seen in the previous session that it can be done using a C instruction D is equal to D plus 1. Now how we are going to encode it in 16 bits. So this is a 16 bit encoding. Let's understand this. The first bit shows that this is a C instruction because there is a 1 over here. These two fields are reserve so whether you place a 1 1 or a 0 0 that doesn't make any difference these 7 bits are for the computation and since the computation is d plus 1 so so where is d plus 1 so this is the d plus 1 the a is 0 and the remaining bits are 0 and 1 1 1 1 1 so two zeros and 1 1 1 1 1 these are the 7 bits for this computation field. Well, uh, the destination shown in red uh, is is D over here, and uh, if the destination is D, so the binary encoding is zero one zero. So you see a zero one zero over here. And since uh, in this C instruction, the jump is not involved, so for the three bits of the jump we are placing a null or a 0, 0, 0 over here. So this symbolic code of hack machine language is mapped to this 16-bit binary code. 
I hope this makes sense to you. Let's see another example. Uh, suppose uh, the programmer wants to add the contents of D and A registers. Uh, the computation is D plus A and place the result in D. So the destination is D. So once again, it can be mapped to the 16 bits as shown over here. This one says that this is a C instruction. This is reserve. The computation bits are D plus A. Let me see D plus A. For D plus A, I have a 0 over here and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the 7 bit encoding for the computation and the destination is D so the destination is 010 as shown over here and since there is no jump so we have a null 000 over here so this is a 16 bit encoding of this instruction okay suppose a programmer wants to store a number 10 in register D so first he has placed uh, the constant 10 inside A register and then has used this C instruction so you see both this instruction maps to this a 0 shows that this is the A instruction the 15 bit shows the value of 10 binds the equivalent of 10 this instruction is a C instruction so we have a 1 over here this is the encoding for the computation and the computation is simple A so A maps to 0 double 1 and tetra 0 0 double 1 and tetra 0 the computation is a uh, the destination is again a the destination is 100 zero zero, so the destination is 010 zero zero. destination is d 010 zero zero, yes 010 zero zero. and since there is no jump involved so once again we have null over here so my dear students uh, I, I i think uh, this makes sense to you uh, please stop the video and uh, try mapping uh, this assembly instruction to its corresponding binary equivalent meanwhile i am moving ahead this is the binary equivalent so once again uh, this is another example which uh, sets uh, ram location 64 to the value of d register plus one so this is a symbolic way of uh, writing this instruction stop the video again and try uh, using these tables map this symbolic instruction to the binary code this is the binary code for this once again uh, suppose the programmer wants to read the memory contents from address 25 and place them in D register this is the symbolic representation we have practiced all this in the previous session dear students if you have not seen that please uh, uh, do go through that session and then fall back to this stop the video again try to map this symbolic instruction to its binary equivalent and then compare it with what i have done over here i think there, there, there is no typo over here please if there is some mistake in preparation of these slides just let me know and this is a jump instruction suppose the programmer wants to do an unconditional jump to the instruction memory at address 31 so this is the assembly and this is its uh, binary equivalent and this is uh, the a instruction a zero over here and this 15 bit represents 31 this c instruction is shown over here with the one in the most significant bit part the computation is zero the computation zero maps to zero for the a and one zero one zero one zero so zero one zero one zero one zero since the uh, destination in this case is null so the binary equivalent for null is triple zero so in case of these three bits we have placed a triple zero over here and the jump is an unconditional jump so for unconditional jump we have the binary equivalent of one 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 so this 111 is over here uh, my dear students i have tried to uh, relate this using a bit of colors as well i hope this makes sense to you all uh, this is another example suppose the programmer wants to jump to uh, uh, the instruction memory at uh, address 17 provided if the computation d minus 1 equals 0 
so this can be done using these two uh, instructions the a instruction at 17 and this is the c instruction and this is the binary equivalent for the a instruction we have a zero over here and this 17 is encoded in binary in 15 bits over here since this is a c instruction so we have a one over here the computation is d minus one and d minus one maps to uh, zero and zero zero triple one zero so triple zero triple one zero so triple zero triple one zero and since there is no destination involved over here and in case of no destination we place a triple zero over here for the destination bits three bits of destination and the uh, jump is jeq jump if equal that is zero one zero so we have a zero one zero over here okay uh, so uh, dear students uh, now this is the slide uh, that uh, shows you a complete hack program which you can see in a sequence of uh, hack instructions a and c instruction uh, remember this uh, hack assembly program is case sensitive uh, the white spaces are uh, are permitted and you can have empty lines uh, whenever you feel like uh, to improve the readability of the program uh, moreover you can uh, see the comments as well you can write comments as you can write in c or c plus uh, plus well as far as the logic of the program is concerned uh, there is no need to understand it uh, right now as uh, we will fall back to this in some later session inshallah okay so if you want to execute uh, this program uh, written in the hack uh, uh, assembly language uh, on the hack computer which we are designing it must first be translated into the machine code as shown over here note uh, the 24 assembly instructions converted to 24 16 bits uh, machine instruction well uh, the way we have just done it manually we can always uh, transform this add 16 instruction to it's 16 bit binary equivalent so that means uh, we are acting like an assembler so you can do it uh, manually or you can write down a computer program uh, that will ease your life out that can translate this hack assembly instruction to the corresponding hack machine code uh, and inshallah by the end of uh, this part of the course uh, we will uh, uh, write our hack assembler in C or maybe C++ okay so that is it i hope today's session was informative for you all if you have liked it please subscribe my youtube channel and share it with your friends i wish you all the best happy learning and allah hafiz <laughs>